If you're watching the video, you run into another cheaply made, not well thought out Dodge issue. Um, in this instance, we're looking at the key fob and uh, mine's a 2012 Dodge Caravan Crew. Um, there are some different variations of the key fob that look just like this one, so it, you may run into something a little different, but it's uh, not gonna matter a whole heck of a lot. Uh, first, we're gonna take out the key, which you do by sliding the release here, pulling the key out. Um, we're gonna remove the front from the back, which is done best by taking out that key and applying the flat blade right in this area. Um, that's just the easiest, easiest place to start for me. So press it in that corner, pry it apart, work your way around. Your battery may be attached to this, or if it's another key fob type, it may be attached to the board itself. Uh, the next step is to remove the rubber from this portion of the housing, which you just press out with your fingers. And then you are going to remove this from the inside of the rubber. And the issue, now that we have the uh, back of this, you can see there's a button attached at the top for the panic. These two are missing, and uh, the two at the bottom for the sliding doors are still attached. I started having some random issues where even while these were hanging on the wall, on my key hook, the van would lock and unlock. Took me a while to figure out what in the world was going on. Now, I've tried to fix it a couple of times. The glues and adhesives I have tried have not worked. I got real sick of fixing it every few weeks, so I thought somebody's got to have a quick solution. And uh, if you're not sure what you're seeing here, those are the two buttons that will no longer stay attached to the, uh, the rubber portion of the key fob. And this is literally just two strips of scotch tape. Um, I didn't wrap it all the way around the back. It really shouldn't interfere with the electronics of it, but uh, there's enough surface contact that those will stay in place. And to be honest, the remote works a lot better with these taped down. When I press the lock and unlock, I am certain that the button is working now. Um, I taped them separately just to make sure that if something was off here, it didn't cause the other button to move. Um, but that's all it is. Uh, it's gonna take you 30 seconds and it's gonna take you a penny's worth of scotch tape and a pair of scissors to cut those strips down thin. So, like I said, Dodge has some goofy electronics issues, some built into the car, some not. Um, this is frustrating, but that's a super easy fix. And uh, if you've already got it apart, you may just go ahead, peel off the other buttons and tape them on too. But that's for another day. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you have better luck with your van. Uh, like I said, we've had issues with the air conditioner doing whatever it wants. Um, Every now and then the cruise control buttons fail on the steering wheel and uh, we have to tap on the steering wheel to get it to work again. Little shorts, little weird things. But uh, check out my other videos. Some are probably much more informative than this one. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment below.